the marble palace situated in a narrow lane known as Muktaram Babu Street in Bara Bazar's Chorbagan. The marble palace is one of the most beautiful palatial houses that represent the grandeur and extravagance of the city in the early 19th century Kolkata. Built in 1850 by an extremely affluent Bengali businessman named Rai Bahadur Raja Rajendra Malik, the mansion is widely known because of its marble wall panels and floors made exclusively from 126 types of marble imported from various corners of the world. Originally named as Nilmani Niketan, the palace has been popularly known as the Marble Palace. While a part of the palace has been converted into a museum, the descendants of Raja Rajendra Molik reside on the other part of the palace. Built with a mix of neoclassical and Bengali styles, the three-storied building has tall imposing Corinthian pillars, ornamented verandas and sloping roofs built in the style of a Chinese pavilion. Known worldwide for its collection of prized paintings and rare antiques collected through a span of three generations, the palace compound also includes a garden with lawns, a lake and the first private zoo in India. The palace retains its old one charm right from its entrance. From the gatekeeper who still protects the palace with a spear to the lush overgrown gardens, that stretch away from the main colored entrance, once designed to receive horse-drawn carriages. The lawn is scattered with marble statues of lions in various positions, some keeping vigil and some fast asleep. The broad stairs that lead into the mansion are now used during private functions and ceremonies, while the visitors are allowed to enter the house through the western entrance from where one can obtain the services of guides. The palatial house is home to several amazing rooms and chambers, home to some amazing treasures like billiards room. The room houses two billiard tables placed in the center, along with beautiful statues of Apollo and Adonis. Victoria room. This room houses a huge wooden statue of the queen carved out from a single tree trunk. A huge chandelier adorns the room along with other antiques like huge porcelain vases urns, gramophones and a bust of Greek goddess Medusa. Jalsa Ghar, the music room. This room, dedicated completely in marble, houses elaborate candle stands and statues, depicting the four seasons, summer, winter, autumn, spring at the four corners of the room. A huge courtyard housing the Thakur Dalan, the place of worship, and the corridors lined with vases, paintings, sculptures and cages housing exotic birds from Uruguay, Brazil and Australia. Prized collection of paintings adorned with an amazing collection of rare paintings framed ornately in polished gold. The palace houses works by renowned painters like Peter Paul Rubin and Raja Ravi Verma. The Nach Mahal, lined with unique artworks, silver showpieces, elephant tusks, huge chandeliers and Belgian glass mirrors. This room which functioned as a ballroom in the bygone era. This room also showcases many ancient wall clocks, one of which is more than 200 years old. At the other end of the room are identical single pane mirrors that stretch more than 20 feet high and 10 feet across. India's first privately managed zoo, which is home to antelopes, porcupines, barking deer, spotted deer, monkeys, peacocks, hornbills, pelicans, storks, and cranes, among others. The family Jagannath temple, whose antiquity predates that of the palace. Simply put, the palace is enormous, spread over nearly eight acres of land in the heart of the city. It almost feels like staggering back in a different era altogether. The trust set up by Raja Rajendra Malik looks after the management of the palace and its upkeep. Further, the trust is engaged in various philanthropic activities including the daily bhojan which feeds around 400 underprivileged people since 1825. The palace lawns are also open for the Rath Yatra Mela on two days of the year, on the day of the Rath Yatra and on the day of the Ulto Rath wherein the underprivileged set up joy rides and stalls to sell their wares. In another philanthropic gesture, the trust also encourages art students from reputed fine art schools to study the paintings and sculptures to promote the development of art. The Marble Palace, situated in a narrow lane known as Muktaram Babu Street in Bara Bazar's Chorbagan, the Marble Palace is one of the most beautiful palatial houses 
that represent the grandeur and extravagance of the city in the early 19th century Kolkata. Built in 1850 by an extremely affluent Bengali businessman named Rai Bahadur Raja Rajendra Malik, the mansion is widely known because of its marble wall panels and floors, made exclusively from 126 types of marble imported from various corners of the world. Originally named as Nilmani Niketan, the palace has been popularly known as the Marble Palace. While a part of the palace has been converted into a museum, the descendants of Raja Rajendra Molik reside on the other part of the palace. Built with a mix of neoclassical and Bengali styles, the three-storied building has tall imposing Corinthian pillars, ornamented verandas and sloping roofs built in the style of a Chinese pavilion. Known worldwide for its collection of prized paintings and rare antiques collected through a span of three generations,